So this morning I'm continuing this series that we've started about the things that matter the most, the things that we say that are important to say. And this morning the the phrase that we're talking about or the idea we're talking about may not be one that you would immediately expect. It, It wasn't for me. It's this idea of saying, how are you? And that seems like a, 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 maybe a strange thing to say that really matters because we say that all the time. It's basically the basic kind of acknowledgement of somebody else's humanity that we can come up with. And we don't ever really expect a, an answer, right? Would you imagine walking down the street and seeing somebody and being like, how, hey, how are you? And they'd be like, thank you for asking. Let me, let me just, let's have a seat for a second and I'm going to tell you. You know, that'd be that moment where you're like, I, I'm going to back away slowly, you know, like I'm not sure I want to want in on all this because we're not really asking for the answer when somebody says, how are you? And we're not really asking when we say to somebody else, hey, how are you? It's just kind of this acknowledgement that they're there and then we move on with the rest of our life. I'm not sure it has to be this. Uh, in fact, I think that there could be something significant and powerful about looking someone in the eye and asking, how are you, like we mean it. I think there's something transformational about the ways we interact with one another, and and this little phrase, if we say it like we mean it, it can do that. You see, when we ask this question in a way that, that means it, we're really starting to say, what is it about your life that I can know? And what is it about your life that I can help you carry? In the passage Jeremy read this morning, in these rules of community that Paul sets out for the people of Galatians, he says, bear one another's burdens. It's this invitation to stand next to each other, to extend grace to each other, to extend compassion and care to each other. It invites us to not simply live life on our own, but to live life with others, to live life in the context of community, to live life with a sense of connection and commitment to the other. And this is a radical thing. It's radical in our society to ask someone, how are you, and to really mean it. Because honestly, in our society, it's radical to care about anybody other than ourselves. We live in a society that says, care about you. We live in a country that says, we're only going to care about us. We're not going to care about anybody else. And we're going to continue to live life in our own way. And that's not the way of Jesus. It's not the way of Jesus to isolate ourselves. It's not the way of Jesus to step back. It's not the way of Jesus to make sure that we hold people at arm's length. You never know what people are going to tell you when you honestly ask them what's going on with them, you know? You could hear a story that you are not well prepared for. And there can be this moment where you're like, I don't know what to do with this or how to fix this. I think sometimes we are so concerned that when we hear someone else's problem that we need to be the miracle worker, that we need to be the one who can fix it or, or solve it or make it better, that we're unwilling to even ask what's going on. Friends, we don't need to be the miracle worker. That position has already been filled. Sometimes the best thing we can do for somebody is just show up. It's to walk alongside them when things are difficult. It's to just show up, to celebrate the things that have happened. It's to just show up when they are uncertain and afraid and when they don't know what's next. Sometimes we don't have to say anything. We simply just learn to listen. Have you ever had somebody really listen to you? Have you ever had somebody really listen and not just think about what they were going to say to respond or, or not just think about what they needed to say to get you to move on, but to, to really sit and hear you out? It's a powerful thing. It's a, it's a transformative moment when you know that someone has heard you and someone is with you in the midst of the difficulties you face. Part of our willingness to ask the question, how are you, means that we're willing to create a space where people can be heard. Friends, our our world needs us to ask this question. Our world is growing increasingly more isolated, increasingly more separated, increasingly more lonely. I regularly ask Jesus to help, to, to break my hearts for lonely people. Like I say, Jesus, help me, help me care a lot about lonely people because I don't want there to be any lonely people in the world. But in our world, people are growing more and more 
disconnected from each other. And we work really hard to put up a, a good face. We work really hard to, to cover that up. So that when someone says, how are you, our response is often, oh, good, 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 super good, really, everything's good, you know? And you move on trying to not answer the real question. Our world needs people who will listen, who will hear what, what they have to say, who will walk with them without offering judgment, without trying to fix it, but who simply show up. 